what a friend we have in Jesus. Hey, guitar players, how you doing today? I'm Gene. Welcome once again for another one of my guitar lessons. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Today's lesson is um, going to be What a Friend, the religious song about Jesus. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so this song, I'm playing it in the key of D. And the chords are D. G and A. That's it. The first three chords in the key of D. You can really do this in any key you like. I'll talk more about that at the end, but I'm doing D. I did a um, D here, and the rhythm that I'm playing is that we're counting in fours. And each chord, the first beat, will get its own bass note. So in other words, a D will get a D, the open fourth string bass note. The G will get the sixth string third fret, its G bass note. And the A will get the fifth string open, the A note for the A chord. So all these three chords are getting their own bass notes. And each time you hit the chord like that, you start with it, you always start with the bass note. And you count it as one. And then we'll strum down, up, down, up, down, up. Counting two and three and four and. So I'm going to do that with the D here. One, two, and three, and four and. Or you can look at it as down stroke in that bass note, and then down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we move to the, um, what, finally to the, the, the next chord, or if you do that chord again, you play the bass note again and on the next one, every single time. So that's the rhythm throughout the entire song. Bass note, down, up, down, up, down, up, or bass note, counting one, and then two and three and four. And now, the first uh, measure, we start with the D chord, and it plays it twice. So, it's, we're going to count one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And that's the part where we're singing, what a friend we have in. Moves on to the next measure, to a G. It's also done twice. Jesus. It moves to the next measure is a D. It's also done twice. We're doing the bass note down up down thing two times. It's the part where we sing all our here comes the second one. Sins and griefs to measures an A. Also picking it twice. Bear. We then move on to a D for the, uh, the next measure. Also done twice. It's where we sing what a privilege to. Next measure is a G. Also twice. Care. Next measure is going to be split. There's going to be one time of counting to four with a D and one time of counting to four with an A. So in case you haven't noticed so far, each measure we're counting to four twice. Every single measure. Uh, and most of them, the, the chord that you play will be played twice for, you know, one time the four count and another time the four count of it. It's just this next measure is not. Each chord will be played just once for a count of four because the measure is being split up between D and A. So the first part is D. For, um, we're going to do a four count. It's the part where we, where we sing 
Thing and then to uh, to A to God. So you see it's one. I'm gonna do it again. The D. One, two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three, and four. Next measure, we will move on to a D. It's just singing prayer. Prayer. Done twice. Next measure, we go to an A. Two times we do it. It's the part where we sing, Oh, what peace we often. Next measure is a D. Two times. Four. Fit. The next measure is another one that's going to be split. The first four count is G. The second four count is D. Oh, what needless pain. So there's a lot kind of changes here. This is a simple song, but it's, uh, still there's a lot of changes, so it might be a little hard to remember at first. Next measure is A all by itself. Bear two counts. One, two, and three, and four. Next measure is D. Two times we're playing with count of four. G all because we do not. Next measure is a G. Carry one, two, and three, and four, and. Next me measure is A. Uh, two counts. And. No, excuse me, excuse me. It's, it's split again. It's D. And then A. So D four count and A a four count. Everything to God is. Last measure is D two times. Prayer three and four. And down stroke, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's the whole song. Let's back out. I'd like to talk to you a little bit more, please. Okay, so it's probably best, you know. As I'm saying here, it goes to D and then to G and an A and so on and so forth to like write down uh, and go D, A, G, etc. Et so you kind of know where you're going in the song uh, as you're counting that, you know, one, two, and three, and four and thing. It makes it a little bit easier doing that, counting it. And again, I did this in the key of D, but it could be done in any key you like. Uh, pick the key that is best suited for your voice. Um, if you know your keys well, uh, you can look at it like this. I was in the key of D, and it's a 1-4-5 progression. So D is the first chord in the key, G is the second chord, which, and, and A is the, the uh, third chord. So D is, the, uh, is represented by the 1, G is represented by the 4, even though it's the second chord, and A is represented by the five, even though it's the third chord. And that comes from the notes within the scale. Uh, D is the first note in the D major scale. G is the fourth, four, and A is the fifth. Uh, but again, the chords are you know, the first, second, third chord, and the key are D, G, and A. So if you know your other keys, like for instance, if you know the key of G, and you know the one, four, five is G, C, and D. Well, then uh, you can use that instead. So since I told you that D is one, four is uh, is G, and five is A. Now I'm saying in the key of G, it's G, C, D, which is one, four, five. You can just substitute those chords. How about the key of A, which is A, D, and E? So A is one, D is is uh, 4 and E is 5. So you can see you could do it in that key as well. Just substitute the, the letters I'm saying for each one of those numbers. I hope you understand that. Uh, we'll give a lesson on that more thorough another time. But anyway, that's Water Friend. Uh, again, you can do any key you like. Uh, nice song. Good luck. Thank you.